Hey, what's going on guys? Sergeant Drake, and welcome to this APB episode. Slightly different from the usual. Uh, this isn't actually a kind of like gameplay let's play episode. This is more of a showcase of some of the bits I've been doing with the NVIDIA profiles and trying to help the people with RTX cards. Because this is such an old game, um, it seems to be struggling with the newer cards and there's a bit of tweaking and setting up. Obviously, it's very particular to everyone's own individual PCs, like what hardware you've got as a CPU, memory, uh, motherboard, graphics card manufacturer and type, because there's so many different versions and different memory chips and controllers, and so there's a lot of different factors, but generally through tweaking and kind of building a small community of different people that I can kind of rely and trust on like actual source information. Um, I've been able to help them get their system stable with their cards. So some are using MSI, I use an EVGA, I know somebody's got a, a Zeus card. Uh, somebody with a Gigabyte card as well. So generally as a rule, I've given them the same kind of profile settings that you're about to see in this video and they've had a stable gameplay. So here on screen you can see I've brought up Task Manager Show running and I'm using just under 3 gig of memory um, and it says about 45% load on the GPU as well which is about right because I'm running this in 4K uh, full screen and to take you to my graphics card. So you can see there the, the actual workload of the card. Obviously Task Manager is kind of like not the true stats. It gives you like this really weird fake like overall total percentage of what the card's doing. And obviously I run two screens. I've got other apps going. So it won't be 100% accurate to the game. Uh, there's my EVGA, EVGA precision monitor. Um, you can see I've got boost lock turned off. And I actually underclock my card. It's down to 96% on power. That's maximum power draw. Um, it's just something I personally like to do. I don't want it to run at 100% power load. It can make the system unstable because uh, I do a lot of rendering and stuff. So here is NVIDIA profile. You can see I've made a profile for the game. And as a scroll through, you can see the different options. This is all in the forum. Uh, you can see it's locked to 70 frames. So my monitors are only 60. So I give myself 10 frame buffer. And you can see on the little stat thing on the, on the right hand side, um, it most of the time is 70 frames now and then it'll drop down to 60 or maybe 55 if there's like a little lag spike at the moment there's an exceptional amount of um latency from the servers apb are having an issue with the uk london eu whatever you want to call it citadel servers at the moment um so yeah that's about it just randomly blow up some cars and just show you kind of like the frames i'm getting with the monitor on the right hand side it is tiny but that's because i say i'm running the game in 4k right now um i will show you the game options a little bit in the video but basically the trick is to not run the game full screen run it full screen window um and then turn in-game vsync off and a few of the other features let the nvidia profile manage it um and that way with NVIDIA profile managing vSync, you, you shouldn't get any screen tearing. Obviously, my monitors are free sync but not supported by NVIDIA. Um, so, again, I generally, as a rule, have the cross compatibility, albeit um, hybrid, whatever they call it these days, for G Sync or free sync deactivated for this game. Um, deactivated in general, my system at the moment. I have been tweaking with it, going back and forth. Here's the game settings. Just show you, to put it to window mode, it was on 4K, um, VSync is off, all the other options are off, we'll go to advanced, all on except for eyelashes, whatever that feature is, it seems to do a lot of damage to the game for some reason, like performance wise. And yeah, that's kind of where the game's at. This guy, I whooped in a mission, um, you'll be seeing that in a minute, just going to have a quick drive around in this video, just to show you kind of really how the game it's just playing as a whole, driving around, free roam. Free roam is slightly different to being in a match. Um, I won't get into it in this video, but it's basically how you load other players and stuff in free roam when you're running around with no groups. Tied, bit enemy or like on your team, then you won't be loading all of their tattoos or all of their car designs, etc. Um, yeah, so looks really nice, 4K. Just show you a bit of the ragdoll physics i love physics in general in games i think it makes such a big difference and 
ever since there's a whole reason why i got into abb in the first place back when it started with with unreal was playing around with the physics engine and what you could do um yeah just come a long way like that tree looks even though it's like you can see the the leaves are 2d and what have you for this game and where it's come from it just looks so good from a distance like all the grass this is all Having the game absolutely max, you wouldn't see that much grass and detail. Same as like the bricks, the textures. It's an old game, but it's just, you know, one I've played for 10 plus years and still love it, even though it's it's like a Marmite relationship. But it is, it, there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes to make it look so good for being such an old game. Just, ah, oh, just everything about it. It's just, yeah. I don't get me wrong, like me and Hayes quite a lot of the time say, you know, imagine APB and like a Grand Theft Auto 5 kind of engine or something, it's just crazy, but then again, what's coming in the new engine updates and stuff is going to be pretty epic in its own right, no pun intended with a name. I'd love to change some of these billboards and have more control and effect of the game. Another thing I've realised since running the game in Ultra is, like, the kind of gloss lighting effects. Yeah, that's what you get particles. But seeing this light and it just... The reflections on the surfaces, even though the surface is a flat surface in the sake of the game, because of the small details of, like, black dots, pixels everywhere and what have you, in that wall surface, it kind of gave the look that the wall was 3D. I don't believe it's textured. And uh, so that's really kind of like the show bit. I'm gonna go into the actual gameplay side now. I'm gonna shut up and just let you watch a mission. It's up to you if you wanna carry on watching it or not. Um, but it's more of just basis to show the actual loading of Oppo and their skins and all the data and then like you, how the, the latency is, how the frames are around like gunfights with other people and obviously these people I'm playing, I believe, are in Russia, so obviously it will show like the whole. Uh, well, it won't physically show the whole like data packets, but in terms of how my computer handles that information, relays it to the graphics card, and puts it on the screen, you'll be able to see what the frames per second are like, etc., etc. I'm not. I'm going to stop babbling on now and let you watch the rest of this video. Thanks for watching. If you've checked it out, um, I hope the settings work for you. Obviously in the APB forum there's more information, you'll be able to find me on there under the PC support. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, give it a like if you like this video in general or if you've actually tried out these settings and it made an improvement. Uh, any comments below, thanks for watching, Drake out. Go caps and forcers.